Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Transcript released of letter from Jane Doe Kavanaugh accuser. Daily Wire reported on this transcript sent to Senator Harris's office on Sunday evening. The Senate Judiciary Committee released the transcript of a telephone interview with Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh given by Senate Democrats on Wednesday, the night before the hearing. The interview included questions regarding a highly dubious, nonspecific, anonymous accusation of rape received by the office of Senator Kamala Harris, DCA. A woman who offered no return address or name sent a letter to Senator Harris' office marked urgent. This anonymous person outlined a scenario wherein Kavanaugh allegedly forced her to give him oral sex in a car as his unnamed friend in the back seat assisted by covering her mouth. They forced me to go into the back seat and took turns raping me several times each, the letter alleges, adding that Kavanaugh also struck her in the face and threatened her not to tell. This anonymous person has offered no location, no date, no corroboration, no names. By bringing up the totally baseless and ambiguous accusation, the Democrats ensured that it would be on record to add to the cloud over the judge. After confirming that, as well as no name, there was no date and no location identified by the accuser, a committee member read the handwritten two-and-a-half-page letter, which Kavanaugh said he was completely unaware of. Here's the letter, as read by one of the committee members. Dear, Senator Grassley, et al. The current situation regarding the accusations made by Dr. Ford against Brett Kavanaugh have prompted me to write you today. I have moved on with my life since he forced himself on me as well. The times were so different, and I didn't expect to be taken seriously, embarrass my family, be believed at all. I was at a party with a friend. I had been drinking. She left with another boy, leaving me to find my own way home. Kavanaugh and a friend offered me a ride home. I don't know the other boy's name. I was in his car to go home. His friend was behind me in the back seat. Kavanaugh kissed me forcefully. I told him I only wanted a ride home. Kavanaugh continued to grope me over my clothes, forcing his kisses on me and putting his hand under my sweater. No, I yelled at him. The boy in the back seat reached around, putting his hand over my mouth and holding my arm to keep me in the car. I screamed into his hand. Kavanaugh continued his forcing himself on me. He pulled up my sweater and bra exposing my breasts, and reached into my panties, inserting his fingers into my vagina. My screams were silenced by the boy in the back seat covering my mouth and groping me as well. Kavanaugh slapped me and told me to be quiet and forced me to perform oral sex on him. He climaxed in my mouth. They forced me to go into the back seat and took turns raping me several times each. They dropped me off two blocks from my home. No one will believe if you tell. Be a good girl, he told me. Watching what has happened to Anita Hill and Dr. Ford has me petrified to come forward in person or even provide my name. A group of white men, powerful senators who won't believe me, will come after me. Like Dr. Ford. I'm a teacher, I have an education, a family, a child, a home. I have credibility. Just because something happens a long time ago, because a rape victim doesn't want to personally come forward, does not mean something can't be true. Jane Doe, Oceanside, California. Here's the exchange that took place after the letter was read to Kavanaugh, the names of the committee members speaking are redacted. Judge Kavanaugh, nothing, the whole thing is ridiculous. Nothing ever, anything like that, nothing I mean. That's, the whole thing is just a crock, farce, wrong, didn't happen, not anything close. Okay. I'm going to go through a few of the specific allegations just to have your responses. Have you ever kissed a woman against her will while driving her home from a party? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever put a hand under a woman's sweater while your, while your friend put his hand over her mouth or held her arm? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Advertisement, story continues below. Have you ever put your hand under a woman's sweater after she told you she only wanted a ride home? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever put a hand under a woman's sweater after she yelled no? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever had a friend silence a woman while you were engaged in a physical encounter with her? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever used fingers to penetrate a woman's vagina against her will? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever slapped a woman and told her to be quiet while forcing her to perform moral sex on you? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you and a friend ever taken turns raping a woman? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Have you ever told a woman you assaulted no one will believe if you tell, be a good girl? Judge Kavanaugh, no. Do you object to the public release of what you have said today on this phone call, including the public release of the transcript? 
Kavanaugh was asked at the end of the questioning. I do not object, he answered. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.